My mama always told me making biscuits was necessary. My mama always told me making biscuits was necessary. And I insert the instructions here for the biscuit making I never learned. And I insert the discussion here for the impact we've never termed. But let's talk about it. If this here be fertile ground, then why is there no ring from it? No resounding sound of fruitful goodness, only the lasting residue of imitation sweetness. I like the black strap molasses, she said. The deep dark kind like they used to make when I was young. The kind she used to dip her biscuits in every morning. My grandmother. The recollection of this, her memory continues on at a loss. And I watch her. Her blank stares into the sunlight, trying to remember. Thinking about the pies that Aunt Jig used to make. Or the tea cakes she used to steal from the windowsill from Aunt Tang. Picking blackberries from the road and grains from the garden, fresh preserves and homemade cobbler. Family history all rolled into the memory of biscuits and molasses. Fading away from her. Fleeting and aspartame filled dreams. But this here be fertile ground, right? This poem is called Rage by Zora Howard. And what will I build with this rage, my mortar? Four brick walls, a dirt floor, a roof as squat as I am tall, it has no door. I stand in the threshold keeping watch. All of my precious things, my intimates, if you will, I've wrapped inside these wrathful walls Stacked so high and threatening to fall. I fear they'll crush me in their chute. I fear this ground will open its mouth to swallow me. It will be as if I never ever was. Strange dreams we keep in this itty bitty house of one day standing and the next slipping into the ground. Bleeding into the sidewalk, can't nobody pull you out. It's a scary thing to disappear inside your rage or otherwise or other ways, be it by bullet, billy club, or just inside your own blackness. A blackness the world seems better apt at navigating than I fear I may not exist. When the morning comes, I come too. Already tomorrow, more mythos than marrow, more saga than sinew. The streets are shrieking your name and forgetting your face in the same second. Holy heaven! It gets packed in this itty bitty house. What with me and all these used to be boys floating round, crowding in the corners and stooping on the mantle, curling their bodies in the cracks in the plaster and others still slung around my neck, their limbs, heavy dripping jewels dragging me down and holding me down at the same damn time, these used to be boys. Afraid of themselves and what they've become in the days gone by, clinging to me as I cling to everything. Well, I've welcomed them. And they call this home. There's enough rage here for each of us to be comfortable and not get in nobody's way, these used to be boys. Flapping their lips so fast, I'm afraid they may catch flame. Watch their last words flick across the room like bottle rockets. Some stick and some collide. Some snag on the molding and hang there a while. And others still spark almost at once. Light up this air packed so tight, we are highly combustible. This rage fighting to ring beyond our skin. How it smoke and singe when we trap it in. Rage inside these walls, born and bred. Can we hold any more fire, brothers? And what does it mean to be black and unburned? 
be black and unbound and unburdened, unbeaten, unburied, undead. Well, I've welcomed them. These used to be boys to share this cloak, this tarpaulin tent I find shelter in, that without which I'm temperate, temporary, this rage, my figure frame encasing, this rage, my doing and unmaking, that without which I'm talk chalk dust, or after ash, or dark matter, or don't hardly matter at all, I'm spilled milk. Spilled skittles, smoldering posts, burning burrow. I'm about to burst, about to break, I'm about to blow the fuck up, and I have been meaning to for ages. I will love this rage. I will rear this rage. Because without this rage, without this rage, I live in a country of laws. The jury has spoken and nothing changes. Without this rage, my walls are paper mache, how they fold into themselves, I'm shamefaced. Without this rage, I am shapeless. The wind whips around me and I cannot even call out in return. Without this rage to define me, when morning comes, how will they find me? It will be as if I never ever was. <laughs>